going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh, honey, let me check this makeup, girl, before it cracks with all this drama. So can we just talk a little bit, girl? Can we talk about Natasha Denona? Girl, yes, girl, we're gonna talk about her, honey. She's gonna come for me to the house. And I already know, at like every video, there's gonna be those group of people. How dare you talk about Natasha Denona? Natasha Denona is God. I pray to her palates every night. Girl, like I said before, if you're gonna get all that worked up over Natasha Denona and wanna attack the house, girl, well, relax. You seriously need to get, get a life, girl, because it's not that serious, okay? But as being part of the beauty community, girl, the clown, girl, the black sheep of the community, the one everybody blocks the house, girl, because it can't stand my fat ass, because I just spill the tea, honey, you know, just me, just me, girl. But, but you know what? It's y'all's fault that I get blocked, girl. It's not me. Like, okay, for example, let me, because y'all are, I know y'all are like, what? Okay, okay. Like, let's say I'll say Natasha Denona, blah, 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 anything for views, right? Well, the next time that poor child, Natasha Denona, does something on Instagram or Twitter, y'all go, y'all run over there and y'all start commenting, clock at the house, not bother, honey, 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 honey. Then she finds out, where, where, are these, where are these people coming from? Then they link it back to my fat ass and it blocks. So, girl, it's not me, because, you know, I don't really, girl, I have to sit here, girl, what the hell's going on? I blame y'all while I get blocked, honey. But I love it so much, girl, I love y'all. Okay, so the kids on the internet were uh, talking about how Natasha Denona done pulled the stunt, and how Natasha Denona's a scam, and boycott Natasha Denona, and palette Natasha Denona, makeup palette, block, girl, block. So, I was like, what's going, what's the tea, girl? So the kids are saying that Natasha Denona gooped everybody with this tropical palette. Now I went over and I actually bought the damn palette, so we're gonna do a little investigation of ourselves right here, and we're gonna crack the code. And you're gonna be shocked with our findings, girl. Shock the house, honey, because I've contracted a laboratory to see what the T is on this girl. And y'all, y'all shook, girl. You think I had that money, girl? Yes, ma'am. So let me tell you, so in order for you to understand what I'm talking about, we have to go back, okay? So uh, Natasha Denona, for those who don't know, is a makeup brand at Sephora, and she has really, really high-priced makeup. For example, so you have the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette, $89. You have the Natasha Denona Lilia or whatever eyeshadow palette, $129. Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 28, $239. Natasha Denona star eyeshadow palette $169. Natasha Denona sculpt and glow face highlighter contour glow palette $89. Natasha Denona sunset eyeshadow palette $129. Which brings us current to her latest and greatest palette. Natasha Denona Tropical Eyeshadow Palette, $129. But people are saying that there's some drama with the weight of the palette, it being 1.5 grams. So people are saying, like right here, girl, it says 1.5 grams, and people are shook the house, girl. They're saying that the other palettes weigh more, and so I'm like, well, girl, I don't know. So we're gonna weigh it, girl. So Iker B Sparkle, I'll put his link down below so you can also check it out, but here is the drama. He actually weighs it, girl. Hey, queens, it's Iker B Sparkle and... I'm Renee. This is Dr. Renee. She's gonna help me out here in Poindexter Labs. Now, if you watched my video, I'm sure Rich will link it, so go comment, rate, subscribe. Love him so much. To my channel, I weighed just the pan of the eyeshadow by itself, but today we're gonna break it down, we're gonna scrape it out, we're gonna weigh everything to get to the bottom of this drama. Yeah, I wanna know. Yeah, Renee has to know. She is, she is living. Say hey, Rich. Say hi to Rich. Hi, Rich. She thinks you're so cute. She loves you so much. Uh-huh. Anyway, queens, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. I can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke, Renee. I know. <laughs> okay, now we scraped out all the powder. Now we're gonna put the thing on. The container weighs two grams. And it was weighing four. So what's four minus two? It's two. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just don't know. There's no conclusive evidence. <laughs> All right, so what's the deal? I don't know. I don't know what even to think about that. So uh, I guess our findings are is the tin weighs two grams and then the powder itself weighs two grams, but we're told that it's 1.5 grams. 
So there's a missing 0.5 gram floating around out there. there. Well, no, no. It says it's 1.5, so either we got extra or Natasha can Oh, you got extra. I am extra. <laughs> we can't do any math or nothing. I don't even know. I don't even know. What do y'all think? You think we're being duped? Duped the house? I hope not. For, you know, for that price point, we better get, like, I mean, I'm not mad that I got extra. Yeah, but it's not what I thought it was. Yeah, I just don't like the story. Anyway. Beats me. Back over to Rich. Thanks, Queens. Bye-bye. All right, Queens. I just decided I'd come out here and do a little weighing on my little scale. Uh, forgive the hair and the face. I just woke up and opened this. So we're going to weigh it, weigh it all, and then... We'll see what the real tea is, if it is 1.5 or 2 grams. Now there is going to be a little bit of discrepancy because I don't know how much the actual pan weighs, so I think we're going to have to be a little bit lenient on what the actual thing is. I think in total it should be, if it is 2.5 grams, it should be around 2.7 grams because that pan can't weigh that much. Um, if it's anything below 2.5, then we'll know that the 1.5 is the true weight of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna change the camera so you guys can see. All right, just so you guys know, the interesting thing about this is they do put these little pokey holes, so I guess you can kind of, it was really easy to get out. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but we're taking the color Sahara. She is over here. Let me turn my scale on. Sorry, scale, it is set to, let's see. Okay, so now it's set to grams. Do you all see that? Is it clean and clear? And we're just going to place it. So it says four grams. So, I don't know, that's confusing. What do you guys think? Do you think it's actually 2.5 or 1.5 grams? I mean, the pan can't weigh. Gosh, I wish I had an empty pan. Okay, this one is the color Mint Frost. It's this bottom corner one, and I feel like it has a different consistency, so maybe this is one that is different. Let's see what she weighs. Scale is set to zero. And she weighs five grams. I am curious, I wish I knew how much the pan weighed, but it can't be more can't be more than 2.5 grams. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's kind of like inconsistent information. Anyway. All right guys, so I was curious as to how much uh, the actual little tin of the pan weighed and I didn't have any empty ones that were the same size as the Natasha Denona um, palette. So I have this little one that's from Wet n Wild, which I would say is probably, yeah. Let's see. Let's measure it up to the thing. I'm going to flip you around. So this particular little tin, I would probably say is about half this, the weight of that tin of in there, just so we can know how much the tin weighs. So let's turn on the little scale. 22 grams. And then it registers a zero. <laughs> So you can't double zero. So here's my thoughts, guys. I think that you're getting as much as they say you're getting, if not more. Because when I weighed these, those all were four grams, and that one was five grams. And the tin probably weighs, if we're being really, really fair, really, really <clears throat> fair, I'd say like one gram. So I don't know what's going on. It feels really weird. But that's the real truth. Uh, there I am, recording a video. <laughs> anyway, sorry if this is, seems a little bit uh, just last minute. I just I just got it, and I, I really was curious to know about the weights and stuff. Mysteries of the makeup beauty community girl continues. Now, is this gonna stop people from buying Natasha? Girl, no. People like people are like I think people want to buy it because it's so expensive even if they got one pan one shade color even if they got one shade look at the color in there girls like a little pink in here a little detail even if it was like one shade for 120 dollars people are still gonna buy it girl it's natasha denona it's natasha denona girl you can't afford natasha denona you can't sit with us girl 
It's very much like that at, at it, it's very much that attitude in my opinion, girl. And I just whatever, girl, I'm careless. So we're gonna open it up, and there's a little mirror, and it, it almost looks like a little toy, right? So you see, you see the blue, and you see like this burgundy, it's like this tan yellow, and it's a lot of it's a lot of heavy plastic. I can I can just feel very heavy plastic, and I'm gonna show you the colors here. So what I'm gonna do for this part of the video, I'm just gonna do some swatches and just give you, you know, my little busted ass opinion of what I think, girl. Um, so I bought this palette with my own money and uh, I can care less when Natasha knows the things about my fat ass. And yeah, so that's a little, um, girl, girl. Oh God, girl, it's like nothing there. All right, then we're gonna go over to this color. Look, you can, I can hear it moving in the pan. Yeah, okay, I think, probably, I think this is gonna be a lot better. Oh yeah, I can tell this one's like really thick and creamy. Look at that. It almost looks like a black. Girl, no ma'am. I wouldn't wear that one. Okay, and then this one is called Laguna. This is the only one I actually liked was Laguna. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. This green is called Exotic. You can hear it moving, watch. Okay, um, let's see if they did the green right. Let's see, let me just try to dig it in there. Okay, there it is. Love is the man. It's all right, girl. I mean, I've seen better greens. I don't know, I don't even know the name of this one. I think it says Pues. Either that or Zeus, one of the two, girl. I don't know. I can't really read right now. These eyelashes are so big. Okay, um, why is that? This one looks like she completed beauty school. This one looks like she dropped out of beauty school. Girl, that's the difference between those two. All right, so we're gonna move on over to this row right here. And I think this color is pretty boring. I mean, I think we've seen uh, Too Faced Cosmetics career has basically built their whole entire brand off this shade right here. Another boring color that we're gonna swatch. Oh my God. Girl, okay, not my, oh, girl, really? Girl, this one is called fake tan. Like, really, it's called fake tan. Girl, more like fake, uh, fake eyeshadow, because I don't see nothing. Girl, goop the house. All right, so this one is called Coco, and that one didn't feel like I got anything. So there's Coco. God, these suck. Girl. I know what I'm gonna return tomorrow. Let's bust the house, girl. What the hell is this? So this one, I actually, girl, I actually have high hopes for this one, girl, okay? Let me just get in there. Okay, maybe it's my swatches, girl. Okay, here we go. Girl! What the hell is that? Oh, man. Can't even see it. Girl. Okay, well, I have to go, like, wash my fingers, girl. Like, you can see I have makeup. On this one, I have makeup, but you can't even tell, girl. All right, let me go like wash my hands so we can do like the next roll, girl. All right, so we're back with another busted ass swatch, girl. So this bottom, girl, hopefully, girl, this from this being my first Natasha Denona, it's kind of like, girl, that's like the ugliest shade I've ever seen in my life, okay? Girl, I'm sorry for being so negative in this video. It's just really frustrating. Come on, who would wear that? Oh, I can I can actually kind of like that one, but at the same at the same time, like it looks like girl, it looks very nasty. Natasha Denona, you were you started off pretty good, girl, and then I don't know what the hell this is over here. I mean, this is barely any makeup, girl. I can rub two sticks together and get some type of color like that. All right, so here's this one here. See, I'm not even bothered with telling you the names. Busted. And this last one is called okay. This one right here is called Peach Puff. Peach Puff. There you go. And we're gonna put this right in here. Cause I'm not bothered. Actually, that one's pretty cute. Okay. Girl, this, this has to be one of the worst. So here we are. This is the Natasha Denona $129 palette or 20, 120, 129, whatever. Yeah, there you go. Bust the house, okay. Um, it started off really good and then it ended up like this. And I really don't like it. My opinion, um, I think I'm still gonna buy Natasha Zona palettes only because it's, I think it's fun to buy expensive crap and then destroy it like I just did for some reason. It says something, something greater. Like it's like a greater, like it's like, girl, consumerism at its finest. Buy it, destroy it, break it, buy it again. Like to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people can't afford this palette, and you know what? I'm glad you can't afford it because it's so not freaking worth it. Do not spend your coins. Unless you're just one of those women who wants to buy Natasha Denona because you want to feel so grand, hun. Then go right ahead and fill your fantasy, girl. But for the most part, I don't really think it's worth the money, you know? Save your coins, girl. 
But as always, I'll let you go on that note. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. 10 men sell their life, they'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have merchandise down below and music on iTunes, so check it out if you want. And I'll see you next video. Bye, I love you so much. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. Like conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. Honey.